Okay, there we go. So, welcome to yet uh, another video lesson. This is a, a continuation with the three wheeler design. We are getting closer and closer to the assembly point where we are going to attach in the uh, fitting the tires, all the tires, and putting the cushion here, and it will be there. But before that, there is a part which we need to reinforce. Here we need a reinforcement. Actually, we need a reinforcement like this, uh, and then and the, in the back part, we need this one here, and we leave this one because the feet has to rest. And then we need another one to go like this, the blow part. And this blow part is going to be a pipe. This is going to be uh, 40 by 20 hollow sections, 40 by 20 hollow sections by 1.5 millimeter thick because this is a base structure and it's going to be very, very, very hard and strong. So, because of that, we need to make sure we have uh, a proper structural design. And before we do, let's sew the segments. Let's sew the segments, sew it again. And then go to 3D sketch. And on this 3D sketch, we have to make sure it is a curve. 3D curve. Let's do this 3D curve from here. Now, this 3D curve may not work. Let's do um, it this way. Line. And I think it's preferable to pick it somewhere here. Okay. And we go up to okay. There is need to connect there first. Let's do a connection there first. Center line, join this one to a center point there. Press escape. Now we have that, so that one can now accept this with from here and to that and then we will have to also map it over to the other side okay so we map this onto that and then you can translate this on ZX plane so that goes on the ZX plane and then also on center line from this point on the ZX plane to match onto that then we can join that onto that after that, this is not necessary. We can take off that. We can take off that. Then we're going to also do another one to join this with that using the construction line. This goes on with that. This goes on with that. Who has me? Is someone waiting for you? Yeah, the mother is very muscular and tall and soft. Okay. Then um, we also have to do the blow structure. Let's say from from around the middle point here downwards and we go we shift it using tab key up to around there and we go and switch it and then we go and touch it onto that using tab key we go onto that and then okay escape do the same here and then go on to the tab key using that. Escape. Then we can go on to that. From there going down. 
use tab key to switch to the vertical uh, tab key also to switch to the horizontal and you can go through no problem then you do another one to go down onto it so once you've done that then you can delete the unwanted portion and then we can make this to be the same so this 67 it should be at least 60 at least 60 60 is okay and then this also must be 60 so that then the same horizontal and when you look on the side it should be it should be the same yeah that is it and then you can do the same on line get it from that point to that point from this point to that point let's escape that from this point to that point press escape from this point that point to that point uh -huh. now also there is an unwanted part which you can go off that one we need it this one can go and this one can go that one can go this one can go and that one need this one need that one need okay so let's convert them into the one day the features the one day features are going to be go to insert feature and go to structural well domains Okay, before that, let us exit the sketch first, 3D sketch exit, and go to features, world domains, structural member. Okay, now this first member we're going to change from pipe to rectangular tube. This rectangular tube is going to be 40 by 20, but let's start here and then we adjust the profile okay groups we're going to do that good it is moving on in the right and then do that go to next group we do that to that to that and then we change the profile again Okay, I think we can, uh, can do like this. Let's click tick. Okay. Edit sketch. And this is not going to be 50. 50 is way, way big. This is 40. In fact, let's use that. That is okay. I have those 30 tubes. So this is started by 20. And the thickness is going to be it's going to be the two millimeter. Good. So now when we exit, this will be within the frame line good control 8 control 7 photometric so now if i remove the ampion occlusion shades shadows okay first take off shadows so you can see the profile now you see that kind of uh, reinforcement hmm? that supports this member so it becomes a double kind of strength. You see, eh? mm. yeah. 
that Alice needs some of it. It's not supposed to be so much down so that it does not scratch the ground, but also it protects also this member from direct scratching with the ground level. Mm. In case, because then when they are moving, there may be some things where it can jump over and it scratches this metal. If it keeps on scratching this metal, it damages it and weakens it. But if it scratches this one and yet from here to here it started, mm. it will still take some time before it wears down there. Mm. So those are some of the additions that are respected. Then with this member, this member now will also be a tube and that one 20 is just adequate. Uh, we go to insert features, welder means members and this is going to be pipe and this says we are choosing 21 find that we, and we shall change that to that back to 20. Okay, so it is this member. and uh, this member okay so and it and change the profile down to sketch and this is this is 20 and this is 20 minus 4 to give it 20 yeah. this is supposed to be 20 minus 4 20 minus 4 yeah, like that. okay okay time to trim the entities you can hide them you can hide them control 7 Now, as you can see, there are some protrudings, and we're going to do extend and trimming. So, go to insert and do weldermans trim extends. About this, to trim this, uh, that, do one at a time, boundaries, this, this, that. Uh -huh. That's okay, okay. Allow for extension. Okay. It is okay. Yeah. Anyway. So, my dear, I'm going to clear it. I will extract the uh, photorealistic one. Mm -hmm. Then I send for you, and uh, you saw them that uh, there are some design adjustments we are making. Mm -hmm. So, let them be patient, but. Uh, there are some design adjustments we are making. So, let them be patient, but. Uh, Within the in the next two three four days it should be finished. Mm -hmm. uh, it won't take long. Uh, you tell them you are sure them. Yeah. You are sure them we are using a very strong material. You also then we are using a very strong material and the structure design also has changed a lot. Uh, so what they are getting is going to be perfect for what they want. Uh, okay, so that was uh, a client where they come to check the progress of uh, the design phase and the work. So uh, that is it. So let's move on with this. If you go on insert. Uh, welder means trim extends this is what we are trimming trimming boundaries this this that and this so do adjustment on that okay and then so we'll have done that Uh, 
and um, what we're going to do is um, so as you can see the structure is now being reinforced and uh, next is next is I think now next is assembly but for assembly let's do I think this one is okay they don't there's no need to do much on yeah we're done there we're done we're done there so if you look at the cross section from the side if you look at the cross section from the side this is good reinforcement there's no way this one can buckle like this it's going to be difficult this also has added in strength to prevent a collapse of this one going over to that sure this technically speaking is pretty strong now next is we have finished the chases actually congratulations we have completed the chases although with some interruption here and there so now we can go ahead and complete this and we will enter into the next one so see you in the next video lesson when we are going to soon we are closing uh, to start on assembly and uh, before we do assembly we want to do we want to do a measurement let's go to evaluate uh, make sure you have a pen and a pen a pencil nearby and uh, mine also i'm going to write them down here So we're going to have um, we're going to have we're going to have we're going to have um, from here from here to to here that is you choose the red one because dx is this one's uh, slanting so it is dx1 that is 620 620 ax uh, access to access 620 access to access 620.29 so minus 20 so that is 600.29 we subtract 20 because we don't want it to go at the center point of it. There must be small clearance for the seat to sit on. So let's go on this and we choose that. And that is going to be that's going to be that's going to be That's going to be. Uh, let's use use the DZ. DZ is the one which is the five five three. So five five three point two six minus twenty, you get five uh, three three point two six. So that is length times width. Length times width. Then. We are going to do we want to do this to that that is dy now dy is three zero two point eighteen so let's approximate this one because we want it to go up let's approximate this one to three fifty 
to 350 uh, let's say this to that we're going to use this on dx 6622 no it's not going to 622 okay that's uh, the red one yeah 622 so 622 so we're also going to use the same for the other one which is uh, 600 600 6.029 so this length and then width for the head rest and the base part done once you have noted down those parameters then you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and you could close but before that let's do something where the assembly is going to be easy to make the assembly easy so let's view the first sketch no that one is not the one so let's make this sketch visible and then we do 3d sketch go to sketch use 3d sketch and in this case we're going to go and use a rectangle so click here and uh, so let's let's choose another type of rectangle let's choose three point rectangle that will be that point that point and that point so now we have that rectangle like that So let's make this one to go on to that. Uh -huh. So that is the, the rectangle. Let's do another rectangle, three point rectangle. It's going to be this point to this point and then down to that point and it's the flipping it let's undo it is doing it's not doing the correct way undo let's go on three point it is this one make sure you do the correct one that that uh -huh. so for some reason it has gone obtuse let's see this let's say this one let's click this and we make control that and we make this one to be parallel uh -huh. this one control that let's make this one to be collinear uh -huh. so that will be it and then we exit sketch before we exit let's highlight this one and okay let's exit first take off 3d sketch and then this one right click hide it all so that we have only these two to select then if you scroll down you're going to see that there is this and then you can go to features extrude uh -huh. now this extrude features we are doing with right click um, let's see let's see let's see which way it is going to extrude This might not work. Let's choose another option. The option there is to do is to do insert. Go to weldermans structure member. You go to rectangular. Uh -huh. under this let's click that okay size was not selected let's say size 20, 50 and uh, we have to change 
the profile let's mirror it let's go to locate profile So let's mirror vertical axis. Okay. Horizontal axis, let's mirror it like that. Then we shall uh, do the rest. So change it, change it, no, change it to something smaller. Mm. So go to that go to that go to that click that slot it does not go away we go to the second group new group go to that go to that go to that go to that locate profile go down to locate profile and then you click that so that it moves up and then that is it so you can click tick and then close and then go back and change Start with the first one. Edit. So when you edit in the profile, so we don't want this one to be 40. 40 is too much. I mean, let I me mean, touch it. Let's put that one to be 25. Twenty-five by twenty. So don't tell me that this whole section is not there. Yes, it is not there, but it can be adjusted from thirty to twenty. Thirty twenty, you just cut the lines and then you divide into two, and then reduce it, weld it back simple as that uh, exit but also you can use that by 20 I think it will be it will be fine uh, let's do the next one so this is going to be 20 This is this will be sixteen. Sixteen. So this now will support the frame well, the sofa well. So it is again 30 minutes of video lesson. Let's stop there. See you in the next video lesson.